Today, I'll show you guys the six best AI programs to auto-generate YouTube shorts and TikToks to make passive income. Let's get started with Choppity. Chop, chop. Let's get started. The first program we're going to be using is Choppity. In my opinion, Choppity is very similar to Opus Pro and they work the exact same type of way. Pause. Guys, make sure you watch through the entire video because at a random point in this video, I'm gonna be giving away $500 worth of AI faceless subscriptions. And don't worry if you're watching this video at a later date as the giveaway ends at the end of 2023, so you have a ton of time. All right, now just let me unpause this video and we can go back to the regular programming. So I went on to Choppity and made an account, which is absolutely free to trial out with all the links down in the description. I'll have the link for every single website that we use. And the best part is you can trial out every single website to see what fits your needs best and then move on from there if you want to continue using the program. So if you never used a program like Opus Pro before, it's incredibly easy to do. So I just found this random video on YouTube. I'm going to copy the link and then I'm going to bring it over to Choppity and I'm going to paste it in right here and then I'm just going to hit the button to get clips for free. And from there, Choppity is going to do all the work to find the best clips in this podcast segment. Keep in mind, this video is only four minutes long. Obviously, if you have a video that's over an hour and a half long, it's going to pick up a lot more clips than Choppity is going to get for us. Now that took about a minute or so and Choppity has chopped up all of our clips in this four minute video. So we can click on that. And here are the four clips that Choppity has generated for us. Now from there, once you click on a clip, I'm just gonna click on this one. You can go to edit in project. And from there, Choppity is going to highlight everything that is stated within that clip. Now there's a lot of cool options when it comes to the Choppity editor that you can adjust. So for example, if you go to focus here and you select follow, it's going to analyze the person's head on screen and it's going to follow them around. So Tom Holland, he might be moving his head, his hair, Well, the camera is gonna be followed in tracking his face, which is fantastic for these viral clips. Then if you go to style, you can do a ton of stuff like adjusting the size. Obviously you wouldn't want to do that if you're making TikToks or YouTube shorts, you can add your own custom logo and you can adjust what the captions or the subtitles look like. So I can adjust it by making it larger or maybe I want to adjust the font. You can do that. Additionally, a really nice feature is enter highlight mode. I really wish they had this for something like Premiere, but basically all you have to do is click all the words that you want highlighted. So for example, I want drunk highlighted. I want a uh, year, half, fantastic, amazing, rugby, much and drink. I don't know. I just found random ass words to highlight, but it makes it so fast to highlight the most important parts of your video or your clip. Now, what's really nice is if you want to skip to a specific part in Choppity. So for example, I'm going to skip to because right here, it directly skips to the because moment. And you can see that Choppity has adjusted the clip. So one's on top and one's on the bottom, which is just amazing because if we look at the original video, it was not formatted like this but Choppity used AI to understand that there's two people within this podcast and this is the best format for a vertical clip. Now if you're wondering why the quality just really isn't that good it's because you can change the quality down here so you can change it from full or preview. Preview is going to make it really blurry. I'd keep it at preview until you render the actual video and really the last thing to do is to just listen to the clip and ensure that everything stated is the right words because sometimes AI can be a little bit finicky and maybe he says I'm two years and a half into it instead of just I'm a year and a half into it. He doesn't actually say that but that's just just a rare example of what can happen. Now, if you're happy with the clip, you can go to download on the right. And yeah, that's how you use Choppity. Now, the next program we have here is called Spikes, and it is very similar to Choppity or like Opus Clip, where you basically paste in a YouTube video or you can upload your own video from your channel, which is what we're going to do. So instead of pasting in a YouTube video this time, I'm actually going to upload a video I have recorded from one of my past videos. Alrighty, so I just finished uploading my video and now I'm going going to extract the highlights. 
What's really cool about Chopity is that you can adjust the clip length. So let's say you're in the TikTok creativity program and you want to get your videos over a minute long, so like a minute and one second so that you can make money through the program. You can adjust it so that's a minute and one second clip that are only produced. Because we are on the free version right now, we can't do that. So I'm just gonna hit extract highlights. So Spikes is just gonna cut up one to three of the best clips from the uploaded video that we gave them. And that video was only like a minute long. So I don't think it's really gonna find much in that video. This is more just to show the concept. However, I do love the fact that a lot more of these AI editing websites are allowing you to upload your own clips, which is I think is massive. There's so many different use cases for this. You could be a podcaster, which is probably the most common use case, but hey, you could literally be a gamer who uploads gameplay of three hours long, and then Spikes is going to find the best and funniest clips in that three hours of gameplay to make into a short clip and what you can post on TikTok, YouTube, etc. It's crazy how good these programs have gotten at identifying what is actually the funniest and most engaging piece of content. And the editing this AI does is sometimes better than if you were to hire an editor on something like Fiverr. Alrighty, the next program I'm gonna show you guys is a lot different than the early ones I showed you. This one is more specific and it's an AI program for creating songs and AI music. Now this use case might be a lot more niche, but I highly suggest you watch this little tutorial on it because it is quite a cool program. There's a whole bunch of different artists that you can choose from like Drake, Michael Jackson, Ariana Grande, even Tupac. And with voice stars, you can mimic a sound that sounds similar to these artists. Now these AI songs are actually so popular on TikTok, especially they get millions of millions of views. So let's just try out AI Drake. The song we're gonna be using is the House of the Rising Sun. Only reason for that is because it is copyright free, surprisingly. Despite how popular of a song it is, there's no copyright restrictions, so I know this video won't get demonetized, which is something I talk about a ton within the Kingdom Club. And if you're interested in joining the Kingdom Club, I highly suggest watching the whole video, hint, hint, because there is a really enticing giveaway coming quite soon. So with our video, linked and Drake selected, we are going to hit convert. And this is essentially going to AI generate Drake's voice onto the song House of the Rising Sun. And just for reference, this is what the song sounds like. So I'm sure most of you guys have heard that song before. So we're just going to wait for voice stars to put their magic in. It does take a little bit to generate the songs, which obviously makes sense. And while we wait for this song to convert, I just got to show you how lucrative these AI generated songs could be. So for example, this Frank Sinatra song is over three minutes long and has 7.9 million views. So if this account is in the creator program, this singular AI generated song made them roughly around like $7,000. And going back over to voice stars, it took me about a minute for this song to convert. And sometimes the conversions don't sound the best. So you really have to decide what artist and what song is going to produce the best AI cover. Obviously with this Frank Sinatra one, it sounded really good surprisingly, which is why the video blew up. So it is going to be up to you to choose the right artist with the right song. But when we hit the download button, you have the option to choose acapella, the instrumental or the acapella and instrumental. I don't want to do any post editing. So we're just going to do the acapella and the instrumental. And with our song downloaded, we can now listen to it. I mean, that that is pretty good if you ask me. That sounds exactly like Drake and it keeps to the song. And this was just an example of a one type of song. There are so many different combinations of artists and songs that you guys can choose from. So really cool program. I know it's kind of niche and not exactly on the whole AI editing type of program, but when it comes to faceless content, this is a really niche, cool program. I definitely recommend that you guys check out. Alrighty, now the next program I'm gonna show you is a lot more advanced than the previous programs. And there is so much that you can do and it is Veed. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know that I 
have mentioned Veed before, and I think it's a fantastic starting program for anyone who's trying to get into content creation. If you click the link down below, you can get started with a completely free trial. And in the free version, you get access to so many things. So I highly suggest that you guys go and test it out. Now, if you watch this video, I made a whole tutorial on how you can edit those would you rather videos, but there's so much more that you can do. And there's a whole bunch of AI features, which I love about Veed. But best of all, it is an online editor, meaning you don't have to download Veed to your computer, which could be very annoying. Maybe you're running out of storage or you just have a really slow computer. You can take Veed on the go because it's all online. So I already have my account created and I'm going to go to create project. I'm going to start with a blank canvas here. Obviously, the first thing we want to do is just change up the size to a vertical format. And from here, there's so many different options you can choose from. They have the option to add text, audio, media, settings, whatever. But we are going to start with some elements here and they actually have some AI avatars that you can add to your video. So combining ChatGPT with Veed, I'm going to ask ChatGPT, make a one minute script on how to make a grilled cheese sandwich for TikTok. So I just copied in that script and I'm going to paste it in here. And then you can select the AI avatar that you want. And they have a whole bunch of different characters to choose from. So I'm going to do Olivia and then you can change the language. So you can change it to whatever language you're trying to target. And I'm going to hit add to project. Then with our video imported, we can go to elements or media and we can find one of the stock videos they had. I searched up grilled cheese when I went to search and then I just clicked on it and added the grilled cheese below the layer and now we have some delicious grilled cheese while our AI character explains how to make a grilled cheese. Now what's great is I just uploaded a video that I recorded on my computer and with Veed there is so many different AI options that you can adjust your video to make it that much better. The first thing is going to be the auto subtitles where you can add automatic highlighting and if there's multiple people within your clip so let's say a podcast it can do speaker detection so it'll be able to detect who is speaking and add like a different color which i think just looks awesome you can also do any language you want to add subtitles to we're just going to do english for this video and i'm going to hit create subtitles and there you go it created all the subtitles for this video as well as highlighting the different words in the video so that it just pops a whole bunch more and you can see this subtitle doesn't really look the best in my opinion so you can change the style of the subtitle so me personally i like having nice and bulky fonts so now when we watch a video the subtitles look pretty good but here are the real tools that i just absolutely love so this video is completely unedited there's a whole bunch of different pauses within the video and you know i want to fix that up so what we're going to do is go to the ai magic tools and the first thing we're going to do is cut out all the dead air and dead space within our video that we recorded and now you can see it removed all the different silences within our video. Now the next thing to do would be to clean up the audio. So this just makes your audio recording that much better. And you can also do a thing called eye contact. So let's say you have a video that you are clipping and the podcaster really isn't looking at the camera. Well, it can AI recalibrate your eyes to look exactly at the camera, which works really well in these talking head videos when sometimes your eyes just veer off. Maybe you're reading off a script or you're just not that comfortable in front of a camera. It's going to have your eyes laser focused so they're always staring straight ahead. Alrighty, so now I'm going to play the video and this is without the cleaned audio. Harold became a millionaire by creating a faceless Snapchat show. And then I'm going to play it with the cleaned up audio and you can definitely notice the improved audio from Veed's AI clean audio feature. Harold became a millionaire by creating a faceless Snapchat show. So it's not a massive improvement, but it does sound just slightly better, which could improve the overall quality of your video. Now here is the eye contact 
And let me just say it works on some videos better than others. Became a millionaire by creating a faceless Snapchat show. So that was with the eye contact on. And then when we turn it off, you can see it actually does make a massive adjustment on your eyes. Became a millionaire by creating a faceless Snapchat. Personally, I don't like using it. I think it makes my eyes look kind of weird. But in certain use cases where you're not staring at the camera, this could be a fantastic feature. Now, the last AI feature I love about Veed is the remove background feature, which basically just green screens any clip that you have, regardless of what the background is. This background would be pretty easy to remove in a program like Premiere Pro because I could just highlight the two colors on both sides of this video and it would remove quite easily. However, with this AI feature, you just click a button and it gets rid of the background for you so that you can add additional video into the background, making your video more engaging, increasing the retention, and hopefully getting more views. So as you can see, it did a fantastic job of removing the background and now we can add anything we want into the back of this video like seen right here. here by creating a faceless snap now i would be here all day and this video would be like five hours long if i went over every single feature in veed but you just gotta try this program out it is the best online editor with ai features in my personal opinion but enough of veed let's talk about flicky which I'll be honest is probably the least used program for me personally on this list just because I heard about it a couple days ago, but I definitely have to showcase what this program can do for you in terms of faceless or AI content creation. So what's really cool about Flicky is that you can voice clone your own voice and then use your clone voice for videos in the future. So realistically, I would never have to talk in a microphone again because it would have my cloned voice that it could use for every single video video. Now, unfortunately, you do need to have the paid plan in order to clone your voice. However, you don't need a paid plan to start using the program. So once we create our Flicky account with the link down below, I'm just going to go to new file here. I'm just going to call this file the tutorial and it's going to say start with and I'm going to start with a tweet and we're going to keep everything English and I'm going to hit submit. Then I'm just going to find the first tweet that pops up on my timeline. So it's this one right here and it goes over how to make 2000 thousand dollars per day with a YouTube channel and it gives some pretty basic advice however I'm going to paste in this tweet onto Flicky and we are going to hit submit and watch the magic happen consistently generate two thousand dollars per day on this YouTube channel the next thing I did is I just found a random video of this star sky mountains just to show off the example of this video but basically we have now converted this tweet into a video of an AI character reading off the tweet with some animations and you can change the voice if you want to. They have so many different voices. I'm going to change it from Sarah to Phil and now I'm going to hit preview and let's see what this looks like. Consistently generate $2,000 per day on this. So it sounds pretty decent, obviously not perfect so you definitely want to play around with the different ai voices some sound a lot better than others and let's say you want to add an element to this video right here well you can go to add layer you could add a voiceover text picture audio so i'm going to add audio and they have a whole bunch of stock audio that you could add or you could upload your own audio on your computer i consistently generate two thousand dollars per day so it doesn't sound too bad i'd probably adjust the audio but this is just to showcase how this works another awesome ai feature within flicky is that you can auto generate the next scene unfortunately you need to upgrade to the pro program in order to do this but it is an awesome feature that i've seen some examples already on twitter of it being used three tips to help you lose weight one don't skip breakfast so here's just an example of how flicky can create completely ai generated content that will take like a minute to make and once you're finished with everything you can just go to download and then start export and it will download right to your computer so that you can mass upload to youtube or tiktok and finally it wouldn't be a faceless or ai recommendation video if i didn't include opus clip which in my opinion is one of the first big ai cutting programs to come out in the scene and before you guys click off the video 
because maybe you've used Opus Clip before. Make sure to keep watching as this is the program where I'll also be talking about the giveaway that I have, which will take literally two seconds for you guys to enter. So if you haven't used Opus Clip before, it is incredibly easy to use, which is one of the main reasons why I love this program. So simply enough, you just find a YouTube video. I found this one on my homepage. So I just copied the URL and I pasted it in here and then I'm going to hit get free clips. And with one click of a button, Opus is going to find the best possible clips within this 20 minute long YouTube video. And there's going to be so many different features that we can adjust within Opus. Cut in after. Alrighty, so if you made it to the end of the video, this is the massive giveaway, which will be on my Twitter link down below. I'll be giving away a 12 month premium subscription to the program Choppity that we discussed earlier in this video, along with one free Kingdom Club membership. So there's going to be two different winners. And in order to enter, it is incredibly easy. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter and comment on this tweet, which will be linked in the description, Chop. I'm going to be way more active on Twitter and I really want to engage with the community. So make sure to follow me and enter in this giveaway. It literally takes two seconds. All right, back to Opus Clip. And going back to Opus Clip, we can see that it is found a few different clips on the Canadian home prices. And when we click on the clips, so many Canadian households are currently experiencing significant financial strain. So you can see just from watching that video, how well it looks edited. It's focused on the face. The subtitles look amazing, but unfortunately Opus has added some restrictions when it comes to the free version of Opus clip. So if you want to use Opus to generate millions of views, I would recommend upgrading or else you're gonna be stuck with this annoying watermark right here. In addition, you can't actually edit the video. So I find an Opus, sometimes I want to extend the video so it can get in the TikTok creator program so that our clip is over a minute long. And currently with the free version, you can no longer do that, which is pretty unfortunate. So that's why I definitely recommend looking into maybe some of the other programs used in today's video, because unfortunately Opus is restricting their free program as much as possible with these changes. Changes. It's not to say that Opus still isn't a great program, but it's a lot more restrictive when it comes to the free accounts. So that's going to conclude this list of a whole bunch of AI programs that you can use for your faceless content. If you feel like you gained some knowledge today, all I ask you guys subscribe and check out the Kingdom Club if it's of interest to you. See ya!